Hello year one and welcome to Friday's art lesson. This is our last lesson together and today we're going to be thinking about everything that you have learned in art this week. So we're going to be thinking about our artist, Andy Goldsworthy. We're going to be thinking about natural materials or man-made materials. We're going to be thinking about colour and pattern. And we're going to put all those ideas together to create a final piece today. So let's share our screen and I'll show you exactly what we are up to today. So, brilliant artists. How do brilliant artists make links from work of a known artist to their own? So that basically means we're going to be thinking about Andy Goldsworthy, thinking about what he does as a sculptor, and then we're going to steal some of his ideas to create our own piece of art. So we're going to start by recapping sculpture and thinking about Andy Goldsworthy. We're then going to gather up all our resources and materials. You're going to create your very own sculpture. And then we're going to take photos and you're going to have to tidy up before we finish our lesson as well. So let's see what you're going to need. Now, all you need today are the materials that you might have gathered this week already. So when you were working with Miss Sadler on Tuesday, you might have gathered some natural materials like stones, leaves, twigs, nuts. You might have been working with man-made materials. So you would have explored your house for this and you might have found some Lego, some pencils, pegs, even explored the recycling bin to see what you could have found. So you just need the materials that you might already have still gathered somewhere, or you can go and find them again later. So let's think about Andy Goldsworthy. You made brilliant posters with Miss Best on Monday. And what I want you to do now is have a real look at all the sculptures that you can see on the screen, because we've got to try and steal some of his ideas and put them into our own work. And if you have a look at the pictures at the top, he uses lots of materials and he puts them flat down on a table or on the floor and he makes a sculpture which is flat. But he doesn't just do that, he does sometimes make towers out of lots of different shapes or he creates patterns, maybe long and short patterns using twigs or longer objects. So you're gonna have a little look today and you're gonna think what sort of sculpture do you want to make? Is it going to be something that's flat and you can put out on the floor or on a table? Are you gonna go for a tower? Or are you gonna go for something like this in the middle where you might even be thinking about joining materials together to see if you can stick them to make them into maybe like a 3D sculpture? So have a little look steal some of the ideas off Andy and think what you might want to do. Because it's gonna be your turn now to create. And we've only got three things to make sure that you do when you are creating your sculpture today. Only three rules, the rest is completely up to you. I want you to think about color. So when you are finding your materials and creating your sculpture, how are you using color? I want you to think about pattern and you must use natural materials or man-made materials. You can't draw today. So it's a bit a wet and soggy day here. And I, if I went outside to go for a walk and find some natural materials, they'd be a bit soggy, they'd be a bit damp and I wouldn't be able to use them properly. So I've explored man-made materials to make my sculpture and have a little look at some of the ideas that I've made. I've got three different sculptures that I've had a go at making here. Have a look at the first one. Can you spot any patterns? Can you see what I've done with my colors? So what I've tried to do is I found some old bits of paper and I've cut them up to make lines and I've turned them into zigzags. I've also found some felt tip pens and some balloons that match with the same color. And can you see that when you go around my sculpture, I thought about color going from hot to cold. I've gone from the yellow to the orange to the reds, all my hot colors, 
and then I come back round to my pinks and my blues and my greens to make the colours feel cooler. So I thought about colour going from hot and cold and I thought about my shape. But have a look at this next one. I've only thought about colour and I've used two colours, that's all I've used, but I've made a pattern with my colours. So I've gone from gold to red, gold to red. And I have then had some leftover Christmas chocolates and I found some red pom-poms and I've made a swirl. So my pattern is also a swirl, but I've used colour to make a pattern as well. So I've gone gold, red, gold, red, and I've gone round and round and round and round. And the final one that I've had a go at doing is I found some recycling bits. So I've cut up some bits of paper, might have found some old magazines, newspapers, leaflets that have come through the post, and I've cut them into straight shapes. So I've also made some squares, some shapes there. And what I've done is I've tried to think about making it go from small to big. So I've done just one piece of paper there, three smaller pieces, four, four really big pieces, and then small again, back down to four small pieces, three small pieces, back to one. So I thought about the shape that I've made, my pattern. And I've also thought about colour. Can you see how I've gone from my cold colours at the top, from my whites to my blues to my purples, and I've gone all the way down to hot colours, red, orange, yellow. So that's all you need to think about year one. You are gonna have a go now at creating your very own sculpture. You need to go and gather all the materials you need and think about two things, color and shape. Pause the video here and come back when you have made your sculpture. Well done year one, you've come back to the video, which must mean that you have made a sculpture that you are super proud of. So you have been a brilliant artist this week. Now we've got a couple of things to do before we finish our lesson. Number one, if you can, make sure you take a photo of your sculpture and then the grown-ups can send it into the class teachers and we'll be able to see what brilliant artists you've been. And number two, you must make sure that you tidy up. So make sure that you try and put back all of the objects, all of the materials you found, see if you can put them back in the right place before you finish your lesson. Well done, year one. You have been brilliant this week and we will see you again next week for some more home learning and you'll be looking at science as your foundation subject. So have a great weekend and feel very proud of yourself and we'll see you next week for more learning. Bye everybody.